moving from man to man in our tribe is a curse. If you're going back to parliament, go and table other issues, not this bill. These are some of the views by residents of Lango during a consultative meeting called by their members of parliament. Although there appears to be a wave of rejection of the bill, the Church of Uganda says the people should be given more time to express their opinion of the contentious proposed law. Most of the contents are good, but my view and the view of the church is that we need to give it enough time uh, so that there can be enough consultation. We have nothing against the bill, but we want a wide consultation that because marriage concerns uh, families and the fabric of society, people should be given a chance to understand what the bill is all about. As the Archbishop maintained the church stance against gender-based violence, he also spoke strongly against cohabitation. May we distance ourselves from all vices, including gender-based violence, cohabitation, infidelity, and homosexuality that destabilize the family unit and threaten the marriage institution. In his Easter message, Archbishop Stanley in Tagali also called for an end to corruption, which he says has deprived Ugandans of the opportunity to acquire better services. I pray that the Ugandans will not steal to pass on the curses of stolen wealth to our children, but instead prepare an enabling environment so that our children will be so blessed that they will not require the wealth of their parents. He called for repentance among believers as the church awaits to mark the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Holy Thursday, which is marked with the washing of the feet by a leader of a church, marks the beginning of the four holy days in Christian church. Amen.